Hey everybody, Don here again. Well, today I'm in the paint shop and I've been playing around with the airbrush and starting to get a feel for it. Uh, but today I'm just gonna paint a bunch of blanks with a uh, white base coat, uh, tape up some bills and, uh, and just get started on uh, making some lures. So hang out. All right, so today what I'm doing is I'm just gonna paint a bunch of lure blanks white. I, uh, I started off with this rattle trap. You know, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, trigger control and all that. So start off with that one. Came out pretty good. This is the next one I'm going to do. This is a deep diving crankbait. But I'm going to tape this bill up. Here's what I noticed, though. Now, these were really cheap. I got these on Amazon, but I don't know if the camera picks it up. But these things have... Like right here, they're scuffed up and there's, I don't know if it's mold marks or what, but it's not really as nice as some of the ones that I've seen, you know, if you buy a factory uh, bait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, sand this up. I'm going to rough this up with, actually not sand, but with some steel wool and then see how that looks when I clear coat it. So I'm going to do one where I rough it up and one where I, uh, I just leave them as is and see what they look like. All right, so here's the second one. I've taped up the first one. Now I'm gonna take some steel wool. I don't know if you can see the imperfections in that bill, but I don't like the looks of it. So I've got some, uh, this is double lot steel wool and I'm just gonna try to really scuff that up and hopefully when I uh, when I apply the clear coat it looks a little better if nothing else it should at least be more uniform I see how that's kind of getting from clear to a little bit opaque I'm okay with that I think <laughs> What do I know? So all I'm using is this blue painter's masking tape. I get it as close to the lip, or to the body, I should say, as I can. Then I'll cut a couple smaller pieces to try to get that lip completely covered, the lip, the bill, whatever you want to call it. One more piece. tuck it in there and get it in nice and close. Also fairly even. All right, so now I'll just trim that up, make it a little more manageable. And there we have this one, well, <laughs> is uh, with the bill roughed up and this one is smooth. And I'm gonna paint these white, prime them up, and then we'll decide. I'm gonna do a crawdad pot pattern on both of these. All right, so to get started, I'm just using these, uh, these paints that actually came with the airbrush kit. Um, you know, they're relatively cheap, small bottles. Uh, we'll go with that to begin with, at least for the primer. Shake it up really good. The air compressor is on. We'll uh, get some white paint in here and let's get started. About seven or eight drops of paint ought to be a nice place to start. All right, let me turn on the fan. I apologize for the uh, for the noise. Right. Just 
gonna put a light coat on here. I'm really being careful. I'm going really light because I don't want to overspray and get a lot of paint and runs and whatnot. I really, I really have realized that you know you want to be quite a bit further back from the bait than, than I originally thought. I'm running my compressor at about 25 PSI. switch over to the next one. And bait number two. pretty good all right so cleaning out the airbrush I have uh, come to understand that <laughs> it uses quite a bit a cleaner what I like to do is get most of the paint out of the bowl and uh, drop a little cleaner in there And spray it in this, uh, my buddy Matt, the gnome. I was talking to him about it because he's, uh, he's into painting lures. And he said, you will come to find out that keeping your airbrushes clean between, uh, paint changes, color changes, or in general, uh, is a pain in the butt and can get pretty expensive just because these cleaners, these airbrush cleaners, are pretty expensive. Eight ounces, probably, yep, eight fluid ounces for nine bucks. But I've also found a hack on uh, YouTube, which I'll be employing. All right, well, I've primed a couple of baits, taped up some lips. I'm gonna call that a session for today. I've uh, cleaned up the airbrushes and uh, got some ideas of some uh, improvements I've got to make. The airbrush uh, cleaner, I'm using a lot of that. And uh, I've got some ideas on how we can uh, maybe save some money. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for coming along. Peace.